After the last video, where Yaski and Asina answered AJ Roberts' questions regarding the possibility of UFO official disclosures this year and similar events, and although all who follow our channel should already understand this topic and why no such a thing can be expected to happen in the way it is desired, I still saw some people fall into the discouraged state of mind, asking themselves their purpose on earth and whether it is worth fighting for anything, since, as we say, Matrix is not meant to fall anytime soon anyway. To all of you feeling this way, most of you new subscribers to our channel, let me ask you straight. Did you really expect these types of changes occurring this year or anytime soon? Does your life really have no other direction or sense of purpose apart from seeing disclosures and 3D system falling down? Is this why you think you came to Earth? to see humans free of oppression and nothing else? Is that really all your life is only about? If so, I understand. I used to feel that as well. As I understand it now, as much as we all wish for the better conditions for the humans, let me be clear. It is not the only reason we, the starseeds, are here on Earth to see the dissolution of the Matrix. Those reasons are many for each one of us, I say infinite, sometimes not even only one. Planet Earth is extremely rich in experiences, in all degrees and variations, and it is only and always up to you what you make of it. It is your creation your playground, your interpretation. Use it, play, learn, expand, observe how it works, how you feel here, what you can achieve and what you cannot and why not. Have fun overcoming obstacles. Live! Disclosures or not, Positive changes now, in five years, or never. Your soul is still here because that's what it chose. And no, it is not only to see human society propelled into disclosures and interstellar existence. In fact, there is no reason for the civilization to become interstellar with open contact with ET races. If there are hundreds of other planets outside already being that. This specific planet has a different purpose and unique set of challenges. It may become interstellar in the future, it may not, but it certainly has a lot of challenges ahead of it still. So don't sit and wait for the ascensions, disclosures or governments falling down. Live your life as it is, making this experience unforgettable unique, yours, with all its obstacles and upside downs. It's your ride. Do not attach to immediate results, to any direct expectations of social changes. Many may come, we cannot know. We are still here and not intending to back down, affecting collective consciousness through individuals as we believe it to be key. But if the changes do not happen, do not despair and do not forget to live this life for multitude of other reasons your soul chose to be here or for which you now decide to live. No need to sacrifice your experience on earth, your time with yourself, your families, just because all you really want is to see the 3D matrix going down. Honestly, I do not believe that this is why we, the starseeds, are really here in the first place. You may ask, if all is meant to be this way, this 3D playfield matrix for souls, why be here trying to help? And help with what? 
as much as I believed it earlier, I do not think that fighting for the 3D matrix to go down is where the point of it all lies for me. Frankly, I do not believe we will see it go down in this lifetime, or if it even ever will. But what we do work for, I believe, is at least for the controller's human collective not to create any deeper and more sinister oppressive states. We might be here to level the game, to anchor the more expansive and positive energies so the humans don't fall into even darker choices for their terrestrial experience. And that is because many souls do forget, do allow themselves to be trapped, abused and dominated. And the reasons for that are many. Think of starseeds as protector angels, guiding, inspiring, pointing towards other ways and expanding their path. Signposts of higher standards, ethics and ways of being, just by existing. Busters of systems? Obviously as well. Matrix disruptors? Clearly so too. But perhaps, and perhaps mainly, our role is that of humanity's guardians by our sheer presence and actions, clearing their way from potentially more dangerous pitfalls and threats. Matrix as we have it on Earth may not totally disappear, as that disappearance might even be way too invasive for many souls who still desire it. But what we want and work for is the less oppressive version of it, the lighter way for the souls to experience their games and schooling. For the cabal and for the regressives not to think they can have it all. Not to let the dark forces consume human minds to such drastic degrees. Perhaps, in the process, it will all fall down after all, and we will see the humans free. But do they truly want it? They still have so much to learn. Be it as it may, do not make your whole life purpose revolve around official disclosures or any great positive social changes within the Matrix. It's too deeply ingrained in the society to be eradicated that fast. Remember, it has been around for a long, very long time, with many resets in between, so do not hope for it all to fall within one generation or a few. We, the toughest starseeds and many Toleka crew members, have been around witnessing it all unfold for millennia, with what's happening on Earth being the extension and continuation of ancient Orion Wars. You could say this is a very old and epic conflict between the forces of light and darkness. This is an ancient war, so let's not be too naive. In change, what I suggest is to simply hold your personal frequency forth as you are meant to, as this is simply who you are as a soul, bearer of frequencies, a stellar seed, the force from beyond, anchoring its energy on the planet Earth. What does it mean? Living your life, being yourself, observant, creative, learning, letting your soul stream in whatever way it wants, always with ethics and consideration towards others, always from the most positive elements within yourself. Monitor your thoughts. Observe how you interact with what surrounds you. Contemplate your reason for being here. There is always more than one and they may even change depending on what stage of life you are at. Do not, I repeat, do not attach your purpose of your stepping into the earth life 
to the ET official disclosures. Positive arrests, lies being exposed, and so forth. All that may or may not happen while you stay on the planet, and perhaps thanks to some of your actions. In the meantime, however, keep soaking up from this experience, despite what goes on out there or does not. That's the best way, I believe, to ensure your more positive terrestrial experience. This is the way I operate, at least, and it works. It makes me enjoy my terrestrial visit despite everything else. You must also know that if you are here at this time, it's because you, the force you embody, the one beyond any physical incarnation, even beyond your ET identity, has decided that it needed to position its presence on Earth. You are that force, and it is here through you. And if it is, it knows well what it is doing and that it must be here now. The fact that you may not understand fully that reason does not mean your presence on Earth is not needed or that you do not have a purpose beyond the witnessing official destruction of the 3D system and official disclosures. Trust that force which you embody. I know I do. So live your life, be with your loved ones, do what you love. Forget about immediate results. Disclosures and positive changes might happen or not. Live your life regardless. There are plenty of reasons to be here. Find at least one and do not waste the opportunity of being on Earth. It will be over before you know it. If you decide to continue to help, you do because that's what you are and that is all. It's not our responsibility to save the human race, of none of us. Personally, I move forward with zero expectations from anything, neither from humans, this realm, the Federation, or anyone else, except for my own self. To deliver what I feel I must, to bring something into this plane, to stir the collective agreements. And, above all, and parallel to it, to live my life to the fullest, in this and any place I may encounter myself in. And yes, even here, among the conflicts, suffering, confusion and doubts. At the face of the 3D system not being me, I make this matrix my own and use it to my own gain. If I can, so can you. Do not despair, do not hope, just be.